Well, is there anybody out there who thinks there's a chance Mayor Kevin Faulkner could lose his bid to be reelected? It's, it's unofficial, of course, but everything we've looked at says the mayor's race could be over in the June primary. Hard to believe, isn't it? Well, KUSI's Steve Bosch is here with the reasons why. Steve? Ellen, to answer that question, we need to look at the city's past, which, according to political consultant John Dadian, has been roller coaster government for the past couple of decades. John Dadian says it's leadership, mending fences with the voters and the political opposition. We now have labor peace. The city is building again, and the budget has surpluses. Everything an incumbent could want. We had the uh, Enron by the sea under Dick Murphy. Jerry Sanders came in right at it. We were back up on top of the roller coaster, and then we had Filner, and now we have Faulkner, who has really redeemed the city uh, after the Filner uh, debacle. According to the mayor's political strategist, Jason Rowe, leadership, absolutely, but also this mayor's style. You know, he's not a partisan guy. He's a guy that works well with anyone, whether they agree or disagree. And so I think that has created, that set a tone for everybody at City Hall. In the past, political leaders had lost trust with the voters. The city had taken a back seat to political struggles because elected officials couldn't agree on a path forward. That changed with Mayor Faulkner. We don't have, you know, proxy battles over various issues. You know, folks, I think, work together, trust each other, and are getting things done. His whole theme since he's been in office has been one San Diego. This mayor has been o over every nine council districts repeatedly, not giving one more than the other, and shows true, uh, true leadership, I think. We're moving in the right direction. We've got great people at City Hall, regardless of their political affiliations. I think everyone wants what's best for the city. And if we're moving in the right direction, why don't we just keep that moving? Several reasons why anybody of note, especially Democrats, see no future in challenging this mayor. They've seen the polling numbers. Um, when you look at his polling, you know, he does well with every demographic group. Um, you know, amongst Democrats in this town, he's got a 58% uh, approval rating, only 18 disapprove and even higher numbers among Latinos and Republicans. And several big name Democrats who either people thought were gonna run or people hoped were gonna run saw that it was pretty much insurmountable because of the job that he's done. And unlike the six mayors before him, Faulkner came up with a plan to keep the Chargers. He will not likely get the blame if they go. He was the only one who actually tried to do something. I think he's gonna come out of the Chargers uh, fiasco uh, looking like the one mayor who did something. Well, it is not likely that uh, he'll run unopposed, but any others on the ballot will likely be token opposition. So look for the mayor to end this in the June primary. <laughs> Certainly yeah. a popular mayor, always yes. always out there in the public working hard. What does he look to accomplish in the second term? Though? Well, his strategist, Jason Rose, says uh, they want to look at a blueprint for the next uh, 20, 30 years, emphasis on our innovation economy high-tech, uh, biotech, telecommunication, science and research, and one other thing, uh, growing international trade and investment opportunities there. So he's looking ahead. Steve, since mm -hmm. you've been covering the political landscape, can you remember a time when there's ever a mayor that's run unopposed? Uh, well, he, he won't be unopposed. He won't there be will unopposed, be token, but, but, but really he is with unopposed, any serious competition. Yeah. Uh, no, not since I've been here 24 years. Yeah, that's interesting. It's quite different. It is. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Steve.